today's video it's all about a question one of my viewers had on my previous video and that question was what size is the jet inside your propane burner so what I'm going to do in this video is try and clear up some misconceptions about why people think you do need a jet or an orifice in a propane burner so what we've got here that is a propane burner and it does need an orifice and what I'll do, I'll do a close up and you'll see the orifice this is the close up and you can see right at the very end there's a tiny hole of this naturally aspirated burner it's not a forced air burner and it needs that jet or orifice if you change that around this thing was most likely it will not work in fact any of the dimensions on these types of burners if you try to copy them and change dimensions most likely it will not work so what we've got here is a forced air propane burner big difference between the previous burner I showed you and this is the propane pipe where it goes into the burner and this is just a drawing a representation of the burner it's just a straight pipe there's nothing in between no venturis no nothing and what happens I'm going to put that propane pipe in here then in here then in here and we'll see that it makes no difference where the propane enters into the pipe and you will have a close-up of the actual pipe where it goes into the propane burner this end of the copper pipe where the propane goes into the burner this part actually sticks into the burner itself and this end here is where the propane hose is attached where it goes to your regulator and this is where the propane actually comes into this tube and as you can see with both ends there's no jet or orifice this is what it looks like when it's put into the burner or the pipe and this is where the propane hose is attached it just sticks in a little bit like that and another point probably someone's going to bring up is do you need to put it exactly in the center no you don't you can have it down here you can have it anywhere you want it does not matter now what does matter is I use a vacuum cleaner for the air in the furnace so I have it pointing that direction so that's the furnace heading that way so the gas mostly goes that way and some will go a bit this way but what will happen you put a piece of lighted paper right in front of the burner and when the gas gets there it'll ignite before it can go back to the vacuum cleaner now if you use a normal blower it doesn't matter you can have it just a t-fitting with a pipe coming in and it just goes into there you don't have to have it in the center or the bottom we can put it anywhere you want but you haven't got the problem with an electric armature and a sparking it creates so an ordinary blower it's not necessary for to put this in that direction so this is a close-up of all the working parts of my propane burner there's a vacuum cleaner that's the blower and just down there is that copper pipe without a jet and there's a propane hose that goes to the propane bottle now this was the straight piece of pipe that I was talking about it goes along that's my normal place where I put it in so what I'm going to demonstrate is it doesn't matter where you put the pipe that distance there the only thing is with the vacuum cleaner it's probably better off to put it about that far away from the furnace so you don't get propane traveling too far down the pipe into the vacuum cleaner but also someone's going to ask a question why is there two inlets in my propane burner well I built this about 27 28 years ago roughly and I thought the two vacuum cleaners were always better it's not it does not need two vacuum cleaners so this is what I'm going to do this is one hole here it's going to sit in like that and the same with here there's another hole 
and there's another hole just there and that's how the demonstration will show that it does not matter where the pipe from the propane bottle goes in it's very flexible this burner easy to build in this demonstration I'll be starting from the hole that's furthest from the furnace and what it'll do, it'll show you that it's very flexible about where the propane actually goes into the burner. This is demonstration number two. Now we're one hole closer to the furnace. Now put the propane hose in the hole closest to the furnace and we'll do the third demonstration. So you can see the tape, that's all there for the demonstration so this hose doesn't pop out and cause a disaster. As this is only a demonstration of these holes here, you need to put a correct fitting or weld the pipes to your burner. Don't operate it like this because the gas can leak out. This was the demonstration that I wanted to give you. So it shows you that a forced air propane burner is very, very simple to burn. There's no fixed dimensions, it's very flexible, but you are dealing with propane, so you need to make sure that it does not leak. But as you can see, it does not need a jet or an orifice, and it's very flexible the way you can build it, and it does work. I've melted cast iron with this furnace many times with it, right down to aluminium and lead and tin.